Look, I get it. You're tired of Tears of the Kingdom. You're tired of hearing everything about Tears of the Kingdom. After multiple delays, we finally know when it's going to come out. And despite it not being too far away, we still have to wait three whole months for the game to come out. I'm pretty sure you, like me, can't stand any second of this game not being out. Well, lucky for you, my friend. I have just the game to help satiate your Zelda appetite. Peppy Games. Hello, it's me. I am playing Low Gator Game. It is a game that I'm definitely not playing because I was exposed to it via my favorite streamer, person, man. Um, that's enough laying around. I want to do something fun. Big Sis will play with me. I wonder where she went. Yeah. Welcome to the real man's world. What an adorable little bumbino. I'm bored. What are you doing? Just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can it be out already? I want to be the legendary hero. You and me both. Uh, but we don't need single player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and a shield. And a hat. Of course, silly pointy hat. You have to be clad in green? I am green. Great, you're already halfway there. As a matter of fact, hold still right there for a minute. I look so cool. You must choose a heroic name. What about Hero, Hero Son, Hero Meister, the third? Okay, but this is what all the NPCs are going to call you for the whole game. Your name can be as silly or as serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. I am Bits, Hero of Legend. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Bits. We need to get you up to speed. Set the stakes with something dramatic. 100 billion years of darkness! <laughs> A little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started... 100 billion years ago. Brave heroes set out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. They also made a pact to last all of playtime, no work allowed. One day, after many a playtime, big sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day, when Big Sis came home from fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. It's just like yesterday, huh? Haha, <laughs> yep. This hundred billion years really flew right by. Kinda makes you want to jump up and do it all again right now, doesn't it? Well... I really have to finish this group assignment. Group assignment. And now she'll never finish it in a million years. Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek. But thanks for trying, guys. Ah, sorry, Bits. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play the game for her. Genius! Avery, that's it. I'll play the game for her. <gasps> they said it couldn't be done. Care to elaborate? Right now, all this stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero, an epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. This game is so cute. <laughs> Just look, look at, look at the little gator. Look at him. So cute. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Do the quest, become the hero, and win over Big Sis. Sounds like a plan that might almost work, possibly. <laughs> possibly. You're right. It will definitely work. That's not what I said. Hey sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal run-of-the-mill day on the island. Uh, okay, kiddo. Have fun, then. Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah. 
Game just started and we're already getting the Master Sword. Look, there it is. The Master Sword. Oh boy, junk. I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle into something new. Yeah, rules of nature. And they run when the sun comes up. Put their lives on the line. Whoa. Gotta follow the laws of the wild. Sis, check it out. It's fucking massive, mate. Very cool. Don't break anything. Haha, <laughs> okay. She loved it. Baby Gator with an iPhone 14. Definitely responsible to have a child within thousand actually it's not even a thousand it's like 12 grand or something i don't even know like how many iphones are there again oh that reminds me while i was looking for my stick look what i found thanks a lot do you want your stick back don't worry about it you can hold on to it as long as you're enjoying it oh see you around what a lovely friend as you will all learn this is a game about being a kid and making friends and enjoying life, going outside, breathing the air. Everything that's complete, uh, that's the complete opposite of my old childhood, but yeah. I saw Vinny play this game and I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, need to, I need to hook myself up on this. Fine, you want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Best quests are the best quest. High effort voice acting. Go over there and grab that thing. I need it for reasons. Pod? Question mark? Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic. So here's your reward. Hero. This is, Martin, this is just the thing I just gave you. No, it's not. It's your shield. Really? Yes. Wow, a shield, amazing. Can't wait to find a hill and slide down it on this pot lid, or I mean shield. It's time to die in the most comedic fashion. <laughs> yeah, I got a shield. I destroyed myself on that rock wall. Sis, check this out. I broke all 100 bones inside of my body. <laughs> I've brutally injured myself. I've cracked my ribs and broken my leg completely. Please help. Great job, kiddo. This is just my type of game. Just a very simple game. You don't have to focus much on anything. There is reading. And even though I, I find myself to fumble a lot when it comes to grammar, I, I do actually like reading. I don't actually, I don't actively read books, at least how I should. I do like, you know, looking at or actively reading dialogue. And generally, I just like a game where you can just, you can just chill out. You can go anywhere, do anything. You know, just, just the whole, um, everyone just appreciating the non-linearity of open world slash non-linear games. Anyways. Hello! Hello! <laughs> hey, have you seen... It is I, the bracelet shop! Look upon my rare beauties! Do you not desire them? Covet them? Hmm? Tell me, what is it that you truly Hot. Um, look at that. Now we can climb, but we have a, we have a, you know, a stamina bar. Hmm, I wonder what this game is, you know, supposed to, what it's supposed to reference. Ooh, it's a mystery. mystery. I can tell even with the very simple gameplay that people will not be interested in. Editing this is going to be so fun. <laughs> look at the, look at the little rock. Little rock. Uh, wow, um, what is all this? Something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis all at once. A restaurant? Those creative lots of conflict and grown-ups love conflict? A restaurant? Conflict? 
See, there'd be a, an opposing restaurant that badmouths them to the press. And then in Act 2, all the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. The drama. With all that spoiled food, how would they impress the food critic? Not to mention all the interpersonal tension between the chefs. Uh, I don't know. All this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Oh, stressful? Yeah, uh, it kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh, no, not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. Whoop, there it goes. Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go. Simple. <laughs> the, the, the smiley. Yo, Avery is, Avery is a, just a little ball of sunshine. I love Avery. Breath of the Wild reference? What are you talking about? This isn't Breath of This isn't a Breath of the Wild reference. Come on, don't you know? There are so many games that have a glider in it. There's Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but before we do that, we have to find the bear. Oh look, we have found the bear. Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You have learned the art of ascent, yes. However, you are quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm good. The song is stuck in my head. It's so good. Such a pleasant little jingle. Wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is prime gameplay. And thus, the tale of Bits ended. He was left to drown, despite the fact that Bits is a crocodile, but... Hey. Hey, sis. Hey, guys. Sis, check this out. I love you. Stop working. Let's go get some ice cream. Hey, what you doing? Can I see? Can I, can I, can I see? Can I see it? Can I see it? Let me, let me, let me play some game. You have some games? You have some games? Let me play some games. <laughs> so, what do you think? Just a sec. Let me finish this thought. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And... Done. What's up? Whoa, you're done? Oh, no, 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 I'm nowhere close to finish. I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I really gotta focus on this project. Remember our promise? Playtime means no grown-up stuff, right? Kiddo, I... <sighs> Maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have your fun without me. Well, so much for a legendary quest. gonna be okay um yeah i'll be fine don't worry buddy maybe we can win her over next fall or maybe not bye a avery you are a wonderful <laughs> you are just a wonderful frog your horse kid voice is basically more monotone lumpy space princess i mean hey he's supposed he's supposed to be the cool kid and you know, cool children sound like this. That's what they sound like. Wow, I was out here like, where are those guys? And next to the blinky radio tower on the big island, not the little one, lol. lol. <laughs> okay, okay. Eyes on the prize, bits. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, and Jill and convince them to get back on board and compose a dramatic spectacle the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. Easy, this will be a walk in the park. Hey big sis, better grab a laundry basket cause I'm about to knock your socks off. I wish making friends was always this easy. <laughs> I know the feeling. See you around, new friend. Wait, did she call me little thing? She was like a foot tall. No, you don't understand, she's the big rat that makes all of the rules. Yeah, look at this. 
You just go around, you just smack things. Kill yourself. Oh. Oh. Feeling good. The more I play around with how fast you can go in this game, the more it's actually kind of a sick speedrunning game. It's such a cute one too, which is kind of funny. What a cool entrance. <laughs> Thank you for saving me from my own creations. Yay, man-made horrors. Does this place not scream beautiful fantasy adventure town waiting to happen? Uh, sure. Probably. I guess I could see that. It's not enough just to see it, my friend. You gotta feel it. Give it a try. What should we turn that thing into? What? That little awning? I don't know. I'm not good at coming up with these types of ideas. Turn it into a taco stand. It's so peaceful around here. I'm trying to practice being very quiet. Quiet as a... As a... Mm. As quiet as something that's very quiet. If you ran a food truck or a restaurant, what would you specialize on? I would really love to study Italian food for a restaurant. If I had to have a food truck, I'd probably study Spanish cuisine and sell tacos or something. Whoa, that's so cool. Let's go right now. But okay. Hey, wait up. Oh. You, you good? You good, lad? Are you okay? <laughs> yes. <sighs> I'm fine. <laughs> Just need a second. Just need to breathe for a sec. Okay, let's go. It just be right there. Maybe I wouldn't be a good sidekick after all. No, I'm sure somebody at the playground could use a sidekick. Maybe someone who likes to stay in one spot for a while. You think so? That'd be great. Work experience, here I come. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's that stuff I was holding for you. Did I actually give you anything to, oh. Goodbye. Uh, dude, dude's fast. Sup, nerd? Yeah, you're over here doing nerd stuff. Over here being a nerd. Everybody look at this nerd. Look at this nerd over here with his nerd shovel that I'm biting right now. <laughs> Just, you're such a nerd. Yeah, that's right, nerd. You can't, you can't touch this free spirit. You're nothing more than a cog in the machine. You see me? I'm living my life. I'm free. I'm free to do what I want, whatever I want. Don't you get that? You don't get that at all. If you excuse me, I'm gonna rest under this tree. Good night. Thinking about it, I wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. I'd be happy to introduce you to the thrilling world of rock engineering. Rock engineering is about building tools and systems for safe and efficient excavation. Uh-huh. To do that, it is important to understand how strength, size, and temperature aim affect rock fracturing during mining. Uh-huh. A single calculation error could cause a massive landslide or cave and devastate the lives of- Wait a second. Mining? Rocks? Tools? Strength? You're just like a blacksmith. It is exactly like a blacksmith. Or anything else that keeps you this excited about it. I can find an artifact for you. That's just the kind of thing heroes do. Is that so? Hmm. In that case, I have devised a brilliant plan. Oh, noble hero, heed the plea of this adroit metal, metal right? I have to. What? Adroit metal right? What does that mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> English is stupid. I seek an enchanted mineral on a faraway coastline. You need a rock from the beach. Yep, pretty much any beach rock. A bunch of other stuff too. Oh, hello. Um, let me, let me get this off here. Oh. Baba boo. Are you talking to a fly? Oh, um, sorry. I didn't think anyone could hear me. I'm trying to get a good photo of the bird in that tree. Wow! What? Is it a good rock? 
It looks like basalt. Seafloor basalt with veins of quartz. So it's perfect because it's easier to break down the granite, but heavier, more solid than pumice. Not to mention the fault lines are superb. Just fracture into shape. You want all your stuff. Do you know that? All right. Yes, it's a good rock. All we have to do is heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. Pressure? Should I sit on it? I was thinking you hit it a bunch. You know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence. I can do violence. The have at it, hero. Hone your tool of violence into one of creation. Attached to a stick with a piece of string and some lines on it, I guess. This is it. Are you the one that got banished from the ninja village? Yep, that's me. Okay, I think I'm supposed to hit you. Go ahead. This game isn't fun anymore. I might as well get it over with. Yeah. Ow. I got heated and said some things I didn't mean. Season 3 still isn't my favorite, but I shouldn't have said those unspeakable things about it. Huh? And now I can be a weeb, like them. And of course I do the run, because <laughs> why not? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish and focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to a contrast the dark cutthroat world of competition cooking. Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Something like, I don't know, half a cheese sandwich? But who only finishes half of such a delicacy? Seriously? Yeah. I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. Oh my god, now I can be a more green gal boy. All I need me is just a gun. Where can I get me a gun? I need to find me a gun. I just like saying the word gun. A fine question. What could you possibly offer me, an immortal being of the night? Who thirsts only for evil and desires only darkness. But take an offering of nothing less than... <gasps> Ice cream! Ice cream? The ice cream cart is here. Forget everything I said. If you bring me a cone of my favorite sorbet, I will consider it a fitting apology. Hey, man. Oh. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm on the ice cream cart now. And now I'm not. Makes you look sophisticated. Just don't lose an ear. Oh. Okay. This battle is nearly won, wizard. But whoa, we have awakened a most fearsome foe. The mothership. That's cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Here's my biggest idea yet. What if we took all the slimes and put hats on them? Avery, the other idea. Huh? You guys eating lunch? That looks really good. Yeah, one of them just has a whole tray of lasagna for some reason. Annoying stick thing. Sure. I found a hundred of those things in a dumpster behind a defunct Ricky Rats. Yeah, just get up there. Get, 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 get up, get up, get up there. Yeah. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Every day of the week, my dad. Spark! Standing here doing nothing is why kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. So stand up and realize that you're just like me, trying to make history. But who's to judge the right from ah! Come on, that doesn't actually work. Sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. Hey Martin, hey Martin's friends, looking cool. Boom. But the splash pad isn't even turned on this time of year. Uh, yeah, that's how we like it. Playing in the water is for little kids, right guys? Uh, yeah, getting wet and everything? So cringe. Squawk! Whatever could that be? Yeah. Easy. Also, who cares about momentum? I can jump. 
up the slope with my thing. Hey, I got a skateboard. Welcome to Little Gator Pro Skater. Oh, spikes, teeth? You think you're a hot shot, don't you? Well, <laughs> you're not. Fooey, what do you know? Oh yeah? Climb up this cliff and destroy the monsters on it. There's no way though, that's impossible. You destroyed them all, I can't believe it! You climb up the whole thing? I was so scared, it's so high. And the way you smash them up? Wow, just wow! Um... <clears throat> well, Hotshot, I'm impressed. You've impressed me. Here's your prize for being a hotshot, hotshot. Here's your prize for being a hotshot. Being a being a being a hotshot. Here's your prize for being a hotshot. Being a being a hotshot. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, loser. You saw how I got here so quickly? I skateboarded on water. How about that? What can you do? Oh, you stopped a pump. Yeah, I, guess what? Fucker. I can skate on water. I am literally Jesus if he had wheels on a goddamn piece of wood. Fight me. Hello, Lucas. <laughs> Hi. Could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to... Advice you say? Interesting. Perhaps I could be persuaded to offer the advice you seek. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you help me out, the pump's all yours. <laughs> Excellent. Wait right here. I have the perfect plan. This feels... awkward. I was gonna say invasive. You be Martin, I'll be you, and say all the things you're supposed to say. Okay, uh... Well, sure it's a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on this island, minding my own business. Let's see. What's a good opener? <laughs> Your mane is radiant. What is the equal to? Let's watch Power Fighter Z on DVD. Let's assume that I didn't bring a DVD of a three decade old TV series to the park with me today. Then what do I say? In that very unlikely event, I could only suggest. Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Bits, I don't even think I own a DVD player. Like, at all. My family just streams everything. It's not about the DVD, it's about what it represents. What does it represent? You know. I don't. Well, in that case, all I can say is... <laughs> Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD! Martin, there's nothing more that I want to do with you more in the entire world right now than to watch Power Fighters on the DVD. I'm beginning to think you are taking this seriously. Hey guys, working on something? Ah, Martin! Ah, what are you doing here? Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> you think so? Yeah, it's a portrait for you. Too cool, you really captured my essence. Thanks, man. Wait, did they resolve their problems without me? That can't be right. No, though, they resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Quest complete. Now to get this pump started. That's it! My retainer! My dad is always telling me not to lose it, but I lost it and... <clears throat> oh, thank you, Traveler. The magic in this item will help me sustain my life force. Yeah, that works. Great, you really saved my scales. Thanks. Oh, look at how, look at how happy she is. Okay, where's the duck? I need to see the duck. There's the duck. Could you maybe just talk to me, please? I heard you saying full sentences just a minute ago. Squ squ yes, you did. You say in you said entire normal words. Squawk. Yes. Squawk. Yes, you did. Honk again if you could turn the pump back on. Squawk. Aha, I gotcha. Now, if you'll excuse me. Can we get much higher? Is everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way from the splash pad. I just want to talk, but your friend won't stop honking at me. I'm pretty sure they only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Squawk. That's no reason to push someone. All right, Bits. Let's all try to calm down. What are you, you going to do? Sue them? You know what? 
Yeah, I am. Court is now in session. Oh. Phoenix Wright music. Dude, I was kidding. You, whatever your name is, if you stand <laughs> you stand accused of destruction of fun and being very rude. How do you plead? Squawk. Farewell. Then I call Martin to the stand. <sighs> Here. I'm gonna ask you some simple questions and then decide if you're telling the truth. Wait. So, are you the lawyer or the judge? I'll ask the questions here, thank you. Martin, is it true that your unnamed friend has never spoken a word? That's the truth. As long as I know Duke, they never said anything except cool honks. Interesting statement, Martin. I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how did you know their name? Take that! <gasps> <gasps> uh, well... Lucas and Jada told me, obviously. They've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, how did they know? <gasps> yeah, well, you see, it must have been like, what really happened was, um, and not uh, the jacket's up, Martin. You can quit covering for me. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket. Aha, I knew it, straight from the goose's mouth. It's one of the best. None of my secret is revealed. I can legally battle bits head on. <gasps> yeah, I may be talking, but you can't make me sing. This case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Duke. That's your real name. And I hope it is because it would be a lot more confusing if it isn't. All right, defendant Duke. Let's get right on to the question on everyone's mind. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get at the pump. I didn't want you to, duh. You could have just told me that. Yeah, well, it ain't always that easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you? Heh, I have a reason to believe otherwise. Is that so? Fine. I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop de doop de doo You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? Squ squad? No, I was being sarcastic. How do you... you don't you know how to reverse the psychology? Not even a little. But my expert detective skills tell me that there's another reason you push me. So, if you don't care about the water, why did you push me? But I do care! I... Squonk. It's no use. I'm <laughs> getting nothing past you bits. I pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the gang. Can't go spilling the milk just to get my beak wet. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Sorry, Duke. There's something about your story that doesn't add up. The cool kids would stop being your friends because you talk about your feelings. Then they wouldn't be very cool at all. <gasps> you can talk to them. No, Bets, you're wrong. It just wouldn't work out. I know, but... Since I've already lost another friend group. I already lost another friend group that way. I'll just commit to what my mind perceives in the sentence. One day everything was daisies. The next my pal, my best pal, told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. You know, it's better it's better if I do a joker voice. Maybe I was annoying. Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyways, I left them alone. I figured if I don't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed everything up last time. Wow, dude. That guy sounded like a huge jerk. <gasps> you don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends missed you a lot. Hurts to hear, but... What if everyone really is just pretending? I don't know. If a new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in a court of law? Guess Martin did do a federal crime for me, huh? He risked a life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. Therefore, my final verdict is that your friends like you, you should talk to them. Also, I sentence that big liar to the shadow dimension forever. <laughs> Ow. I'll try. Thanks, Bix. Sorry for getting so riled up at you before. That was really lame. It's okay, I'm happy we talked about it. But if you're wondering how you can make it up to me, there's this water pump I'd like to switch on. 
Listen, I'm just gonna walk back to the splashback, and whatever happens, happens. Hope I'll see you there again. Sick. Where's the bucket? I can't equip the actual bucket, I just need to want water. <laughs> Where it's right, you give me you give me any tool to to ragdoll on command, I will use it everywhere. What do you mean? Is it is it gonna be okay? What does it need? Sunlight. Magnolias need a lot of it, but this one sprouted in the shade. Her roots are tangled in the rocks. We'll survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But but there has to be something. Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. Oh boy, I wonder what's blocking all the sunlight. For the trees! Wow, that was fast. I didn't think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, bits. Wonton destruction hasn't failed me yet. Under three inches of water, beside a shady cliff, surrounded by rocks and weeds. She sprouted anyways. Oh, hardcore. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Hey, Bits, you know how plants need water to grow? Uh, duh. I'm thinking, maybe our little gang does too. See ya. We love the hardcore, cool, botanist girl. Well, what do you guys think? It's a good looking town, if I do say so myself. Last chance to actually talk to your sister before thrusting this all upon her. Oh, Martin, don't be like that. It's beautiful bits. I'm sure she's gonna love it. Yeah, great. I'm sure this will be enough. You're the one who knows your sis best. If there's anyone, if there's anything else the town needs to be perfect, now's the time to do it. Because after this, there's no going back. What? Like, not at all? Nah, I'm just kidding. We got all day. Oh, <laughs> cool. What do you say? Are you ready to show the town off? Yeah. Sis! Sis! Hey, kiddo. Come to check on my progress? No, even be- Wait. Why? Are you finally done? Um, no. Sorry. It was just a guess. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. That's okay, because I'm having such an amazing time with everyone at the playground. We've got a blacksmith and an astronaut and even a whole castle with towers and bridges and everything. Wow, that all sounds great. It's the greatest. It's so cool that everyone dropped everything they were doing to play. Uh, I see. Come see for yourself, just for a minute. A half a minute. Don't even worry about all those books and stuff. You can just leave them right there for no reason. <laughs> can, I, can I talk to you for a sec, grown-up style? Grown-up? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, sis. It's a playtime. You know the rules. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's about that. Bits, I know what you're trying to do here. You do? It's not that I don't want to play it, or that all those memories are happy, or that I'm avoiding you, or... Dang, I'm butchering this. Um... I just think that if you see for yourself... I'm sure it's incredible, but I still have work to do. And playing with you is... Well, it's... it's uh... What I'm saying is, this assignment needs to get done. I can't make today go how you imagine and still finish in time. What does that even mean? It means I'm not going, Bits. I'm staying here and doing my lame grown-up grown assignment. But... Believe me when I say it's not an easy choice. But I have to focus on what's important right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go now. Okay. I really hope you have a great time. She... She's busy. He said no. Yep. I knew it. Ah, come on, Martin. You're having a moment. I... I got everyone to play. You built a whole town. I thought that would be enough. Ah, scales. It'll be enough. We just have to double down. Right? Maybe we can try some different colors? Maybe the timing was off. If it isn't enough now, it's not gonna be. Martin! No, seriously! Look at this playground. Look at all of this. It's amazing. Spectacular. 
Everyone poured their whole day and every ounce of creativity they had into it. Adults gawk at stuff not even half this impressive. But we could still make it better. Maybe, but that's not the point. Bits, if your sis isn't impressed with all this, then it's not about the game. It goes past that. You need to talk to her. I, I know. I know I do. I just don't have the words. It's okay, Bits. Your friends are here to help. Why don't you try and talk about you and your sis's game and what it means to you? Um, okay. It's a bit complicated. Complicated doesn't have to be scary. Yeah, imagine we're your little helper fairies helping you navigate the dark forest of your mind. Now I'm a now now I'm a little baby. I like how Avery's little fairy is just going all over the place. Whoa, you smashed a big one. That's worth three hearts. We visited the park every weekend to play our game together. We both look forward to it all week. Do you remember why you stopped? If you can hit that monster in the tree while we go by, it's an extra 200 points. And you can fight the boss, but only if you can read the map. Boss, 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 boss. Whoa, did she make up all those systems herself? Yeah, that's why playing with Sis was the best. Every time we play, she had a new idea. Everything fits together just right. The hero always won. How far back does all this go? This is it. The first time we started playing together. Ooh, this is the part where Sis has you pick a hero name. The, the name you picked seemed familiar. Oh, right. This is where I started going by bits. Choosing a name was part of the fun, and I liked how it sounded, so I kept it. It's sweet that it came from something you and your sister shared so closely. Names have a way of sticking no matter where they come from. Yeah. Guess I just never thought about it. Hang on. Something about all this is biting at me. Has anyone else seen the pattern here? Seems like your sis is always making the game and never playing it. As the brother of two little sisters, let me tell you, it's not always fun having to be the big kid. You're right. She never got to be the hero. Being the game maker person is exhausting. Was she always this tired too? I don't think she would have made such a complex game if she wasn't excited about it. You can entertain kids that age with a game of tag. Bits, what do you think the game means to her? Well, I think Jill is right. She must have liked making it, but it's a lot of work. So I guess asking her to play is actually a lot of pressure. Pressure that I've been putting on her all day. Okay, so we just tell your sister that it's her turn to be the hero. Oh, yeah, problem solved. I just have to apologize and let her be the hero. Then she'll want to play for sure. Not so fast, Blitz. Earlier, I asked why you and Sis stopped playing the game. We never talked about it. Oh, right. Yes, now's the time. Those memories are over there. Back the way we came. This pass is less taken care of, I guess. Giant purple fairy. This was the day Sis told me she wanted to go to computer school. She said it would help her achieve her big dream, and we were both really excited. Looking back though, that was the start of her having less and less time to play with me. Schoolwork can do that. Sometimes we have to choose adult stuff. One day she didn't want to talk at all. Not about the game or TV or the weather or anything. That was it. After that, she never wanted to play the game again. She didn't want to or didn't agree to. Uh, right, she didn't agree. Maybe she was feeling pressured. I'm sure she wanted to. She must have been really going through it to outright ghost you. I've had days like that. When she went away to college, I stopped seeing her altogether. But when she's home, she's working on something. I know she's busy, and I wanted her to succeed, and I don't want to pressure her, but... I don't want to never play the game again, either. Aren't we playing the game right now? Well, kinda, but with rules and friends and towers and monsters and heroes who save the land? Yes, it's just... Sounds like a great game to me. But I was only playing the game to get Sis to play the game, because it's not a real game without her. Which 
definitely sounds silly when I say it out loud. Well, kind of sounds like you figured this whole thing out. Yeah, I know what I want to say to my sis now. Because it is a real game. We did a lot of work to make it real. And I want you all to know that I appreciate it. Aw, Scales, you big softy, come here. Thanks, guys. It helped a lot to talk about it. Man, if only someone suggested that earlier. <laughs> Knock it off. You go, Bits. This time your sis is really, really, really gonna... <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Whatever happens this time, I'm ready for it. I'm just waddling over here. Hi again. Hey, kiddo. So, um, how's college? Oh, it's fine. The work is tough, but I'm happy to be there. Does it really have lockers and hall monitors and big gigantic classrooms like on TV? Most of that stuff stays in high school. There are lecture halls though, and they're way too big. If I don't get a seat close to the front, I sometimes can't even hear what the professor is saying. That stinks. They should give the professors megaphones. <laughs> megaphones? Yeah, then you always be able to hear them. And even if the lesson was really boring, nobody would fall asleep. <laughs> you might be on to something there. I bet the professors would get fed up with noises before the students did. Maybe I should write a letter to the den. <laughs> to the den. Go for it, but be careful. The evil Dean is known to crush any ideas that are way too much fun. <gasps> evil Deans are real? Maybe. <laughs> I never met mine. Don't let that stop you from trying, though. Sure is a lot of work putting a whole big game together, huh? Yeah, it is. But, uh, that's not the player's fault. Games are just hard to make, you know? Yeah, I know. And multiplayer game- and multiplayer is a nightmare. <laughs> I bet. I'm excited to hear all about that later. <laughs> What's that grin? Look, you're about to burst. You want to talk about it now? No, it can wait. I just wanted to say... Thanks for everything. All the ideas and explaining everything to me. Being nice to me even though you were stressed out and... You don't have to say every little thing, kiddo. I'm happy to do all that for you. Okay, just one more. Even though you have work to do, I'm really glad you're here. Thanks, Bits. I'm glad to. Cool. Sorry I waited a hundred million years to tell you that. Now we're both so old. <laughs> Don't make me laugh like that. I might crumble into dust. You're right. I better go enjoy my youth while I still have the chance. Love you. Bye. Good luck on your project. Love you too, kiddo. Time to focus. Focus on your future. Focus on what's important. Oh, honestly, I say fuck the project. Everyone else isn't doing shit. You're doing literally everything. There would be a nightly homework assignment, a weekly quiz, and five major projects before the semester is through. I do not take late work. Blah, work. Excuse me, sir. For which of our projects will we be working in, Engine? If you stay ahead, you will begin practical work with me next year. You'll have to transfer schools. There's no other way? I'm afraid so. The magnet program you're looking for is only available elsewhere. Try to make a decision before the other applicants start piling up.
I don't get it. This already is a real game. But I mean a real, real game. Like Legend of Hero. I want to make something that everyone can play. Something they'll love. When I'm done... We can play it together. You know what? I think I earned a break. Where, where'd the laptop go? <laughs> Holy heck, Blitz. Where'd you get all this plywood? Yay. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for... Oh, four hours. Okay. Yeah, like, like that chat message says, fuck college. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Beat the game. Yay. Ooh. Hey, big sis. Oh, bits. You look beat. I did everything. I made the friends. I beat the monsters. I did it all. Yeah, it's gotten pretty late, hasn't it? You've been running around non-stop all day. Why don't we get you home and see if there's a heroic feast waiting for you? Oh man, I didn't even think about dinner. I'm so... <sighs> hungry. We'll see if we can squeeze in a heroic nap too. The jiggle on the hat. Yo, Bits! Are you two heading home? I hope, <laughs> hope you didn't mean to leave without saying goodbye. Oops. <laughs> I guess I didn't even know that was an option. Bye, guys. Thanks for all the help today. Today was incredible. Incredible? Almost doesn't even describe it. It feels like we've created a spectacle, the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. It's so beautiful. I almost can't bring myself to go. Do not worry, faithful cleric. The Corgi Countess has surely seen your deeds today. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have the coolest story to tell when we're back from fall break. I'm gonna make so many people so jealous. Hey, Jill has a new chemistry at her place. Er, hey, Jill has a new chemistry set at her place. We're all gonna go see what we can explode with it. We are not going to make anything explode. Right, right. So you want to come not explode anything with us? Wink, wink. And, um, Big Sis inv is invited too, of course. That's very sweet of you to offer, Joe. But I'll have to pass. I've had enough excitement for today. Yeah, I think I'll just relax at my house. But I hope you guys have fun. Speaking of which, does everyone have a ride home? I do. My mom is coming to pick us up. I do. I'm getting picked up by Jill's mom. I do too, for that very same reason. I don't- Ah! I would go home with Jill's mom, but I'm afraid of explosions. It's not going to explode. Uh, that's okay, Avery. You live nearby, right? I can take you home. Yay, reptile road trip. Amphibian adventure. We should watch cartoons in the car. Yeah, have you seen that new one with the talking breakfast foods? Not yet. Let's go. See you later, guys. Thanks again. Bye, Joe. Bye, Tom. Bye, Martin. Bye. Later, Avery. Later, Gator. Drive safe. I text. I'll text you guys tomorrow. That silly little waddle. <laughs> 